Today we're gonna watch uh, people with strange addictions, okay? And I, 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 I've been known to have a couple strange addictions myself, okay? I mean, look at this, this thing. Kelly, she's been with me for a while, a little bit addicted to her. This thing's good too. Mm -hmm. I've never seen this one, but I would like to share it with you. Sheets, toilet paper. <laughs> addicted to eating toilet paper, my strange addiction. First, like to say, I think I know where the shortage came from in 2020, but I don't, I don't wanna point fingers. Oh, that's all 10 of them, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm pointing my toes too. All right, she did it. Now I'm ready. You want the lady in the tramp desk? Get on the other end, man. We'll meet in the middle someday. <coughs> Viewers should not attempt. Oops. You're sleeping next to a hairdryer. I'm absolutely addicted to sleeping with my blow dryer. I get that though. What if your feet get cold at night? Boom, blow dryer. I love eating toilet paper. It's not even that good. I'll try it. I don't even want to. I've tried. My body keeps rejecting it. You should really consider not doing it. <laughs> Just one thought towards the idea of, I don't know, the stuff you rub on your butt don't stick in your mouth, okay? <gasps> she will never have to wipe again. Ingest and wipes itself. Wow, that's good thinking. We're all wrong. You're really trying to rush into that with your life. I don't think it's that deep until a doctor comes on, obviously, and says, and it's deep, okay? You play a it's like rush roulette. Then I'll be able to stand corrected, I guess. I'm just trying to get my steps in for the day. We're gonna watch the blow dryer woman. I thought it was just toilet paper. Hold on, I have a blow dryer, I think. Oh, 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 you're sexy. I get it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Is that easy to turn them on? <laughs> I get it. I used to share a bed with my older sister, Tawny, and she went Turned into a blow dryer by some witch doctor. Now, I know that's probably not what she's about to say, but how cool would that be? Shut up, sister. The sound of it, the warmth of it, just instantly put me to sleep. Out. Oh golly, that does put you right to sleep. It kind of burns your eyes, to, it forces your eyes to close for a long period of time and your body just assumes you're trying to sleep and go to sleep. I put it on my feet. Just get you a man who'll do all night. Oh, he doesn't sleep. He sleeps during the day because you don't need him then. Sleeping with a blow dryer causes Lori physical harm. Does he abuse you? <laughs> six or seven major, major blisters. How do you get to six or seven? At all, period. End of sentence. How do you do, what is, at, and one night? Boy, you're too forgiving. You gotta kick that thing to the curb. Blow dryer had just attacked me that night. <laughs> Punches. I don't think so. Oh, hey, I quit it. He just grew arms and started punching me. Seri oh, she's married. Does dad sleep with a curling iron? It is someone that sleeps with a blow dryer. And a whole lot of leftovers. I'm not judging, this looks like my place. She's like a blow dryer expert. Really? I mean, I've dated a couple girls, but I wouldn't say I'm an expert. Mine was made in Korea. A young as hell. I really like to be able to address the heat setting. Stop being so hot. Quit that. You know what? That doesn't work uh, in my situation. I will get hit. She doesn't hit me, <laughs> but she could if she wanted to. Lori's three-year-old daughter also battles an addiction to sleeping with a blow dryer. I wonder where she picked that up. That's weird. That is, uh, 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 duh. She'll come in and she'll curl. That's because kids are so susceptible to literally anything. You could tell a three-year-old. Every night before bed, we got stick peanut butter between our toes. All 10 of them, yep, these piggies need to eat too. And they're gonna be 47 years old putting peanut butter between their toes if you just keep telling them that's what you gotta do. My name is Keisha. I'm Keisha, you eat toilet paper. Show me how to do it because I keep choking. Every time you see Keisha, she would have tissue in her hand and she would try to hide it behind her back. Huh? No, I did not show it. I was just, I had pooped earlier. Just had to hold on. Oh my goodness. It's just literally, oh. I've been able to understand. Oh, you rip it apart. And then she lets it dissolve on her tongue. Oh crap, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> that's cool. If I could just spit it out after. No, that's a neat feeling. Oh, it's like cotton candy that you can spit back out. Oh my God. I get it. My favorite is this one. It's easier to digest than some of the two-ply toilet paper. Yeah, and I tried the two-ply, man. It's too much. Two plies too much. You want one ply right on the tongue. Okay, now my tongue feels weird. Stomach cramps, um, I have a... I've had three sheets. I've had three sheets. I've had three sheets, Keisha. You start off with that. A time going to the bathroom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
you've had a hard time going to the bathroom? This is the most ironic thing I've ever heard. Mutilating your body and could potentially kill you. Do you shower with your Logar? Don't. 150 squares a day. That's only 75 pieces because she rips them in half. More than 1 million squares in her lifetime. That is a lot, Keisha. Today I'm here at the coffee shop to meet my sister, Jennifer. When was the first time you ever started a session anywhere? Sixth grade. That could your system up. It's not like I'm balling it up and just stuffing it in my mouth. No, you are. I have hundreds of tiny little spitballs around here because of uh, uh, nothing. You should really consider not doing it at all. I really do want to stop. That's why you just think about it. Where do you go? Where's where's help? Where is where do you type in? Google that for me. I gotta stop eating this toilet paper. People number calling for me to have no more paper in my mouth. Who? <laughs> no numbers are out there for that. They stop doing the drug. They get away from the drug. There's no escape in toilet paper. You ever tried socks? I am very addicted. <laughs> Her arm is just turned into a blow dryer. I have developed a, a blow dryer arm. It's natural. The heat and the sound. I get both of these addictions, man. I under. My girlfriends, Micah and Erica, are not crazy about the blow dryer. They look <laughs> kind of silly to us in the outside world. Yeah, that's a good idea. Someone's going through something, make sure you make them feel like they're not normal. That's good, that's good. Lesson one, hey, here in the real world, we don't sleep with blow dryers, okay? We stick peanut butter between our toes before bed, just like everybody else does. <laughs> okay, why is it that you have nice hair, but your sisters have nicer I hair? I don't want How? You're in love with the blow dryer. That's why it's probably frizzy. I don't know. Stop. <laughs> I got over the blow dryer thing. You wouldn't believe it. It was a lot easier than expected. What has caused this addiction? Probably her judgmental sisters. Oh, I don't know. Who burn? Or cool, because you can change the setting. Symptoms of addiction is denial. And it's not, because I can, I would, if I wanted to, I wouldn't buy one of these a day. But I do want to, okay? Not addicted. I love it. It's a choice. Oof. You know what? Subscribe if you also eat toilet paper. Yeah, all hundreds of thousands of you. I know you're doing it out there. Y'all just being sneaky and don't want to go on public television about it. I'm here at the therapist's office. Oh, I curious. can't wait. Uh, tell me what brings you here to talk to me today. You are in for a treat, Doc. I sleep with my blow dryer on at night. That's not that I've ever asked. Um, do you... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> it went down the wrong way. Not using your blow dryer to sleep. What kind of feelings come up for you? Uneasy. Cold. Too quiet. The thought of giving it up is like giving you like cutting off our right hand or our right arm, you know, it's it's it it. Yeah, I'd cut off my right arm. <laughs> Imagine I finished that joke. Today I'm here to see Dr. Dennis, the psychiatrist, so she- Dr. Dennis, the psychiatrist. <laughs> okay. My new Twitter name. Really playing Russian roulette with your life. Is there any warning before that happens? <laughs> A pain. I think you're starting to feel those. The warning signs. Keisha! Definitely gives me something to think about. Just go to the doctor. Say, hey, can you like stick a camera up into my- Oh. I like how the psychiatrist put a box of tissue around the center to- Did you not talk to her before? That's kind of like putting a drink to an addict. Welcome to AA. Would you like a Coors? We recommend that there be no alcohol in the house. Don't put the toilet paper on the middle of the desk then, Dr. Kim, the di dietitian, psychiatrist, doctor, physician. There are other uh, sanitary wipes besides toilet paper. You're telling me more moist toilet paper? I honestly didn't even think of that as an option to eat. Boom, new addiction. Diaper wipes. She just keeps saying, I eat that to all her options. Uh, wet wipes. I eat those. Those paper, them good too. When I was talking with Keisha, it seemed as if there was a, a wall up between us. Because you put toilet paper in the middle of the table and she wanted to eat it, duh. Makes me sad. <laughs> I can't be 70 years old and still sleeping with my blood dryer. Then you have all the way up until 69 nice. to figure it out. I'd like to see you learn some of this deep breathing techniques okay. yeah. so that your brain. Okay, I can do this.
Wow, I could sleep now. Is to write a goodbye letter to their addiction. Quick question. Now, hear me out here, okay? Well, how far off is this and a fan? They're both plugged into the wall. One just makes hot air, the other one makes nasty, just throws the air back at you whatever temperature it is. What's the difference? Yeah, they don't have the fan on the bed. I hear that. But what if she just stuck it like right here? Boom, had a little stand and she fell asleep this way. I don't think that's dangerous. Maybe I don't know hair dryers. When I try sure. to stop, I continue to do it. I wake up and still do it the next day. Wasn't there a man who ate an entire airplane and he got like Guinness Book of World Records and died at 32 or something, but everybody was like, wow, so proud of you. You ate that engine. She's eating toilet paper. I think therapy would be really important with other people who are- With who? Are you gonna scour the world for someone who also eats toilet paper? I don't think it's a good idea. I'm willing to look into it and I wanna stop too. And I think I'll try mm -hmm. to stop. I'll put forth the effort. I believe in you, Keisha. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, now my belief has waned. I'm gonna get started at the beginning of the year of 2027. <laughs> My next step is going to be stop eating tissue altogether. Yeah. That's the only step, Keisha. Okay. Instead of eating it every day, she cut down twice a week. Good. Good. That's incredible. A good job, Keisha. Can I have a 20 year update? Because this looks like it was filmed in the 90s. The first step is admitting you have a problem. No, no, no. The first step is just quitting altogether. Okay, we've established that. With her help of meditation, Lori has stopped sleeping with a blow dryer. She admits she still craves it and occasionally uses it during the day. Totally fine. Doesn't burn you during the day. Sometimes it does. Dear blow dryer addiction, I will not remain a prisoner in my bed or in my life any longer. I will not. You will be remembered. But not missed. That's it. I, you're not gonna give me an update? You just stop caring about these people? That's it. Go eat toilet paper. Only twice a week? Because we now know we can do it for 23 years and be okay. So, hey, if you're on the last limb of your life, go for it. Toilet paper till the end, I say. Do it. Um, I love you. Hope you have the best day ever. Maybe because it's almost because you get toilet paper in your mouth. Love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye.